Ah, uh, yes, the love of fractions, right? Well, all right, let's forget about there's a fraction there and let's just do our first step that we know how to do. I see what I have here is one fifth of a number x minus three equals 17. Remember, when solving two-step equations, we always gotta undo addition and subtraction first by using the reverse order of operations. So here, I have a negative three is being subtracted from my x. So to undo subtracting three, I'm gonna add a three on both sides. There I have one-fifth x equals 20. Now remember, you could say one-fifth x. Okay, I'm having one-fifth divided by x. So we could divide by one-fifth on both sides. Then you can remember, well, instead of dividing by one-fifth, right, remember you can multiply by the reciprocal, which would be five. The other way to explain it is remember the reciprocal property. Whenever you have a number be multiplied by a fraction, remember we want to get this number, we want, instead of one-fifth, we need to get that to be one, because one times x is x, and that means my variable will now be um, isolated. So to get x by itself, I need to get one-fifth to be one. So if you have one-fifth, or even any number, you just need to multiply it by its reciprocal. So one-fifth times five over one equals one. One times x is x. Just make sure by the multiplication property of equality, you have to multiply on both sides. So x equals 20 times five over one. 20 times five is 100 over one. 100 over one is just equal to 100. And then we can go and check our answer. Make sure you plug in 100. In for x, um, so 100 times 1 fifth is 20. 20 minus 3 is 17. So 100 does make the equation true.